Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Uh, today we're talking about the sheep. These are uh, parasite-resistant St. Croix sired hair sheep. No worming, no tail docking, no shots of any kind, no grain, and the worst winter in 41 years, and no hay. And yet they're fat as pigs. Getting ready to lamb here in May. Uh, we turn our rams in uh, December 1st, which gives us May 1st lambing. We don't want to be lambing in the winter, so you got to control your rams. And of course, we got guardian dogs. There's a couple of pups in there, those two blackish ones. Um, we kind of learn them from the older guys what to do and what not to do. And we've got them on some stockpile here. This is not uh, super high quality stockpile, but you know what? Them darn sheep, you don't tell them that. It's actually an eastern gamma grass warm season field. It's got some cool season fescue in it. You can see uh, our tree swallow houses out here. We've got <laughs> we got rows of them in here. Um, actually, Jake and Meg put these up back in 2013. I think there's about 12 of them. They're all down through these. Look at that. They're all in rows. And this is the field that Meg... <laughs> She was out moving the sheep, and one of the tree swallows actually attacked her, knocked her hat off her head. Meg's a little gal, and I guess the tree swallow didn't appreciate her getting that close to its house. So she came down, smacked her on the head, knocked the hat off. I've never had a tree swallow do that to me, but I'm a little bigger than Meg. Um, anyway, the, the sheep are doing well in the stockpile, and uh, we just moved them in here just a little while ago. And the dogs, uh, of course, we've got five dogs in here with them. And uh, we normally always have two, but we like to keep a couple young ones in training. We've got uh, a two-year list now on people wanting trained guardian dogs. Um, I feel like if you've got a flock of sheep folks and you've got some good dogs in there, you ought to keep some young ones in there. So you've got something that you can offer. It's just another product that you can sell off of your farm. And, you know, it's... Uh, it's it's regenerative. Each year you can put some more pups in with your older dogs. Okay. The beautiful thing about sheep is it doesn't take a lot of acreage to get started. And they have twins. So you can build your flock a lot quicker. And the darn things go through the winter a lot easier than cattle do. They're just smaller. They don't take as much feed. Okay. And they stay fat. It's just crazy what they do. Um, anyway, this is a great Judy signing off, and uh, everyone have a great day. And two days ago was the first day of spring, so we're we're pretty happy that happened. Everyone have a good one.